Alright, this is Matt Cuts coming to you on July 31st, Monday. This is probably the last one I'll do tonight, so let's try to do a lightning round. Alright, Peter writes in and says, Is it possible to search for just home pages? I try doing minus in URL HTML, minus in URL HTM, blah blah blah, PHP, ASP, but that doesn't filter out enough. Uh, that's a really good suggestion, Peter. I hadn't thought about that. Uh, Fast used to offer something like that, but I think all they did was look for a tilde in the URL. Um, I'll file that as a feature request and see if people are willing to prioritize it where we might be able to offer that. My guess is it would be relatively low on the priority list because the syntax you mentioned, subtracting off a bunch of extensions, would probably work pretty well. Ah, I get to clarify something about strong versus bold and emphasized versus italic. So there was a previous question where somebody asked about whether it was better to use uh, bold or whether it was better to use strong because bold is what everybody used in the old days when the dinosaurs roamed the earth and strong is what the W3C recommends and at that time last night uh, I thought that we just barely 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 like an epsilon preferred bold over strong and I said for the most part don't worry about it the nice thing is uh, an engineer actually took me to the code where I could actually see it for myself and Google does treat bold and strong with exactly the same weight so thank you for that, Paul. I really appreciate it. Uh, in addition, I checked. He, he also found code, that's code that shows that M, emphasize, and italic are treated exactly the same as well. So there you have it. Go forth and mark up like the W3 would like you to do it. Do it semantically well, and don't worry so much about the old tags, because Google will score it just the same either way. All right, in the lightning round, Goodman Amana HVAC asks, will we see more kitty posts in the future? I think we will. In fact, I tried to get my cats in on this shot, but they're a little scared of the lights. We'll see if I can get them used to it. Tom HTML asks, what are Google SSD, Google Gas, Google RS2, Google Mobile Marketplace, Google Weaver, and other services discovered by Tony Rusco? I think it was very clever of Tony to try to do a dictionary attack against our uh, services check-in, but I'm not going to talk about what those services are. What else have we got here? Uh, a preview, Joseph, Joseph Hunkins asks, uh, of what many of the topics might be in the duplicate content session of SES. I gave a little bit of a preview in one of the other sessions on, the, on video, but I think what we'll basically talk about Sherry will be there, a lot of people will be there, they'll talk about shingling. What I'll essentially say is Google does a lot of duplicate detection from the crawl all the way down to the very last millisecond practically when a user sees things. And we do stuff that's exact duplicate, duplicate detection and we do stuff that's near duplicate detection. So we do a pretty good job all the way along the line of trying to weed out dupes and stuff like that. And the best advice I'd give is to make sure that your duplicate con your you know pages which might have near the same content uh, look as much different as possible if they really are truly different content. Uh, a lot of people worry about printable versions or somebody else asked about a dot doc, a word file compared to an HTML file. Typically you don't need to worry about that. Uh, if you have similar content on different domains, maybe in French and another version in English, you really don't need to worry about that. Again, if you do have the exact same content, maybe for a Canadian site, and for a uh, .com site, it's probably just the sort of thing where we'll detect whichever one you know looks better to us and just show that, but it wouldn't necessarily trigger any sort of penalty or anything. Uh, if you want to avoid it, you can try to make sure that your templates are very, very different. But in general, if the content is quite similar, it's better just to let us show whichever representation we think is the best anyway. And Thomas writes in and says, does Google index or rank blog sites differently than regular websites? That's a good question. Uh, not really. Um, somebody else asked about links from govs and edus and, and whether links from two level deep govs and edus like gov.pl were worth the same as .gov. And the fact is we don't really have much in the way to say, oh, this is a link from the ODP or from .gov or .edu. So give that some sort of special boost. It's just those sites tend to have higher page rank because more people link to them and reputable people link to them. So blog sites, it's, there's not really any, distinct, any distinction unless you go off to blog search, of course, and then it's all constrained to blogs. So um, in theory, we could rank them differently, but uh, for the most part, just the general search, the way that it falls out, ends up working out okay.
All right, thanks.